You have by now heard me ask several lawmakers about Heritage Foundation's oversight project and their stunning analysis regarding would-be Trump assassin Thomas Crooks. Oversight Project last week released an in-depth report, largely ignored by officials, where they uncovered the mobile ad data tracking several devices that frequently visited Thomas Crooks' home in Butler, Pennsylvania. According to geo-tracking data, one device regularly visited Crooks' home and work. And the data shows that whoever's device this belonged to also visited a building in Washington, D.C., in Gallery Place on June 26, 2024. This is the same vicinity as DC's Chinatown and an FBI office. And just to recap Thomas Crooks and why dozens of special operators and former intelligence operators are expressing grave doubts this kid acted alone, first you have this gunman who was able to procure the perfect vantage point on Trump in the open. And while detected almost an hour earlier, there seems to have been a stand-down order from higher-ups. And at the very least, a total communication breakdown between all the people whose jobs it was to protect Trump. Then, almost immediately after the failed attempt, FBI pronounced with the certainty of gravity that this gunman acted alone, despite the FBI having trouble accessing Crooks' phone for days. Turns out Crooks had two phones, and we learn later that one of the phones had 27 contacts on it and several encrypted apps. Then you had this odd detail upon entering Crooks' home. It was clean, like a medical lab, a detail Navy SEAL and Congressman Eli Crane points out. Crane doesn't go so far to finish his thought publicly, but he knows the fingerprints of a cleanup job when he sees one. Uh, did you get any reports from any of your agents of anything fishy at the home? I was briefed on... Uh, was there any silverware found in the home or trash? I, I have no, nothing in the briefing that I was given. Was it extremely clean, almost like a medical lab? Were you given any of those reports? I was not given any of those details, sir. Okay, answer. that's what I'm hearing. Interesting. We were also told Crooks had virtually no digital footprint. There are inklings here and there. He may have had an anti-Trump Gab account, and he maybe had some gamer accounts, but that's it. Of course, the FBI, the same agency that for the past eight years has been going after Trump and his allies, is now trusted to investigate the circumstances around the assassination plot. Can they be trusted to reveal to us exactly whose device was visiting crooks and hanging around an FBI office in D.C.? Are we to believe that device was merely a friend of this lone kid? Perhaps picking up pork buns in Chinatown? Are we taking bets? Here's FBI head Chris Wray rushing to establish a profile and picture of Thomas Crooks before Congress. Um, and so one of the things that I can share here today that has not been shared yet is that we've just in the last couple of days uh, found that from our review, to your point about devices, uh, analysis of a laptop that the investigation ties to the shooter uh, reveals that on July 6th, he did a Google search for, quote, how far away was Oswald from Kennedy? Wow. So glad the FBI could get into his Google search engine. Great work, boys. By the way, get a load of that body language. If your life depended on the correct guess, would you say that Ray was being totally transparent or was he hiding something? Of course, big media, whose critical thinking brain has atrophied from years of disuse, is marching right along. The profile of Crooks is still blurry, and as bits and pieces of him come into focus, we are given a trite image, the profile of the, ca- the kind of loners that our own government targets when they operate overseas. Um, I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just an outcast, and you know how kids are nowadays, so they're going to see someone like that, and they're going to target him because they think it's funny or whatever. So it's the best way I can describe it. They tell us Crooks kept to himself. He worked in a nursing home, ate lunch alone, was a part of a shooter's club briefly. He did not have a girlfriend. He played games online. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. 
All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.